um, Etric equations. Find dy by dx. Nice and easy, my. You differentiate each of them separately. dx by dt. t differentiates to 1. Sine goes to cos. dy by dt. Sine goes to cos. Now to find dy by dx, you do dy divided by dx. dy divided by dx. Nice and easy. Finally, find the coordinate of the point where the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. So in parametric equations, they phrase these a little bit differently. They're basically asking for the stationary point. Now the stationary point is just like standard. The gradient is equal to 0. So we're just going to make this equal to 0. But when you make this equal to 0, the denominator just goes. It's just when cos t equals 0. Keep an eye on the range. Yeah. So inverse cos of 0 is pi over 2. To work out the secondary value for cos, you do 2 pi minus. 2 pi minus this is 3 pi over 2, which is out of the range. So we're going to take this, and we're just going to plug it back into these. Yeah, so x would be pi over 2 plus sine pi over 2, which is 1. And then the y value is sine pi over 2, which is just 1. So uh, my coordinate is pi over 2 plus 1, comma, 1. Nice. Worried about your upcoming maths exams? Don't worry, I'm here to help. I'll be hosting last minute three to five hour revision sessions covering the key topics the day before each of your exam papers to give you the confidence you need ahead of your exams. Click the link in my bio to sign up now.